everyone today in this session we are discussing regarding types of bonds in brick machinery now earlier also we have seen machinery it is a construction of building units bonded together with mortar by using the various block that may be stone that may be brick now in the brick machinery the construction of brick units bonded together with mortar the mortar it is mixture of a fine aggregates with a some kind of binding material that may be cement or any other multi suitable material so before proceeding further we must have the uh, acquainted with the the various terms which are associated with uh, brick masonry so if you see this uh, particular elevation of a brick so bricks are laid in the layer right so brick you if you see if it is laid in the length which is parallel to the wall okay it is a, called as a stretcher it is called as a stretcher and if it is laid perpendicular okay perpendicular to the wall length of the wall so that is called as a header so you can see the these are the header layers are there and these are the stretcher courses are there these are the header courses so header brick which is laid with its length perpendicular to its to the face of the wall stretcher full brick which is laid with its length parallel to the face of the wall then also we must know what is a course horizontal layer of brick okay so here you can see these are the different courses are there header courses stretcher courses Okay, so alternative uh, courses are there. What is header course? Course of brick work fully composed of headers. Yes, this is the header course. Stretcher course. Course of brick brick work fully composed of stretchers. Now here also you can uh, uh, see the some terminal. Uh, you can see some terms are there. So in the brick work. So in the brick. Uh, joints are there so okay so vertical joint it is called as head joint and horizontal joints these are called as bed joints in the uh, bricks okay so this is again here this is a stretcher brick is there right then again some terms we you must know uh, about the brick uh, sometimes when uh, the brick is to be used in the construction so we cannot use uh, as it is sometimes we will have to give some shape to that either you will have to cut in some fashion so that that can be used uh, in the construction right so closer portion of brick cut in such a manner that one long face remain uncut king closer brick is cut in a such a way that the width of its end is half of the full brick queen closer brick is half as wide as a full brick half bed portion of brick cut half across the width beveled closure it is similar to the king closure with only difference that the whole length of the length of the brick is beveled we can see here this particular this is called as a full brick right okay so we are laying the this is a called as a stretcher face this is the header face you can say okay so if you are cutting in the half manner okay this is called as a half bat so in the length wise if you see if you cut in the half right this is called a king king queen closer this is a king closer it is cut in this fashion and it is a beveled closer okay from a this particular end it will discard half half the big of this so it is called a beveled closer now why uh, it is necessary to cut in this manner because when you are using uh, in the construction right so these bricks uh, if you are using suppose pin closer is there so this help in the uh, breaking the joints so how that will we are going to see afterwards now uh, you can see here now the arrangement in which the bricks are laid 
in the construction that those are called as a bonds now there are various types of bonds are there many bonds are available for the various purposes right the manner in which the bricks are arranged in a wall obviously of a great importance to appearance of and the strength now in this figure it represents uh, an angle uh, of a one and half uh, brick wall but what is happened so there is a if you are a uh, site supervisor so you should not allow such kind of uh, <coughs> no bricks so uh, if you see here actually breaking of joint is necessary uh, you can see here this these joints these are these are joints are break but you can see this continuous joint is there so such things uh, continuous joints are not expected in the con construction so that will uh, be making that particular construction weak and that may lead to the failure of the uh, that uh, masonry correct arrangement of the brick so you can see this picture shows the correct arrangement of brick showing the overlapping of bricks due to insertion of closure next to the corner brick this makes the wall to act as a homogeneous body this process of overlapping is called as a bonding okay you can see here now you can see the closure has been uh, used here so that so this breaking of the joints is available everywhere okay so no continuous joints are present right so that's why so to break the joints so such closures or in other uh, the brick formats those may be necessary in the construction of the bricks now different types of bonds which are present almost there are uh, 25 30 types of bonds are there but so for our important we can say we are, we are just uh, having the glance on this various bonds english bond um, flemish bond okay in that uh, double flemish single flemish bond heading bond stretcher stretcher stretching bond okay this is also called as header bond stretcher bond okay rat trap bond garden wall okay so many types are there so we will have the glance on this now before again when you are going for the construction of a brick masonry we must have uh, you can say we must see the the various uh, parameters so that the brick should brick masonry that should remain intact right so accordingly we must uh, observe the construction so what the things are the bricks that should be of the uniform size bricks arranged uniformly throughout the wall right bats are used uh, as little as possible because most uh, if you are using more uh, you can say bats so that will become the masonry the bricks in the interior of the wall laid as headers and that is across the wall the vertical joints and the every uh, other core should be uh, vertically over on another that the breaking of joint is expected right now we will see the uh, english bond the facing of brick laid in the alternate courses of headers and stretchers queen closure is inserted next to the quine headers to produce a overlap english bond is a strongest bond avoids continuous vertical joints then major disadvantage is the penetration of dam through the transverse joints appearance is not good as a flemish bond that is a drawback of this but it is the strongest bond okay you can see here english bond so what is what you can observe so one layer you can see this queen closure closure has been inserted here these are called as a coins here at this stage is corner bricks are called as a coins that we have seen already now here this brick you can see these are called this is a stretcher course and this is a header course you can see okay you can he mentioned it is course of stretchers right and uh, this particular course is a course of this 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 particular course of headers okay and this is a queen closure is used now this queen closure is used Uh, to break the joints now if you see the elevation of this uh, particular uh, english bond so that will appear as a one layer of a headers one layer of a stretchers right so similarly when you are uh, uh, drawing the right layer wise we will have to provide the plan right so next one is a flemish bond in that uh, double flemish bond single flemish bond or that sometimes uh, you can say this is a 
uh, where and how big is there okay you can what you can observe here so alternate alternate uh, brick you can see stretcher header stretcher header similarly the here you can see the this part is brick uh, uh, <coughs> closure is used here so this is a stretcher header stretcher header stretcher okay likewise when you see the elevation of the flemish bond it the every layer will contain stretcher and header okay but uh, if you see in the english bond so alternate layers of the header and stretcher you can find right so elevation of the flemish bond is better than the english bond but uh, english bond is the stronger one now this uh, the headers and stretchers alternate in each courses the lap is pro lap is produced by placing a queen closer next to the coin header at uh, every course here at can say this particular uh, point now flemish bond is a weaker than the english bond okay you can see this particular elevation this is regarding the flemish bond so uh, you can see here alternative this is a header this is stretcher header okay in every layer you can see okay stretchers and headers now so single english bond uh, flemish bond uh, it is a, a bond in which uh, placement of a double flemish bond on the face of walls the rest of uh, wall is built in a english bond but it is uh, used for the walls requiring good appearance and strength okay then advantages it is highly economical walls uh, one brick in thickness are easier to produce fair uh, on the side of uh, both sides of the flemish than english bond the appearance of flemish bond is more appealing to eye than that of a english bond now again uh, we will see now the various the other bonds are there header bond or it is called as a heading bond as well so this bond uh, in which the all the bricks are layer in the header fashion okay it is uh, used uh, for round quick sweeps okay so sometimes uh, um, this should not be should never be used in the straight work as uh, it is a very weak okay you can see in which how it is uh, the bricks are placed okay then stretcher bond all the bricks can say these uh, these are placed the stretcher generally for the partition walls in the bungalow or in apartments the stretcher bond is used right because it is a half brick wall bricks are laid in stretchers as shown in the figure used in the walls of a half brick thickness due to its constant occurrence the last position is also called uh, chimney bond okay so that is important in this stretcher bond now garden wall bond so it is used uh, when a fair face is required on both the sides right wall is composed of three or four courses of stretchers alternating with one headers as shown in the figure now you can see here okay you can see the all one two three stretcher courses are there followed by one header course okay then again followed by three stretcher courses that depends upon but this is for the especially for the elevation purpose <coughs> now red trap bond is also one of the type it is made of placing the bricks on their sides having the cavity so you can observe in this particular question cavity is there okay so this is the better for the maintain the temperature inside right so this is uh, still in india it is used and uh, alternate courses of the stretchers and headers you can find in the walls right now you can see almost 30 types of bonds are available okay where a stretcher bond or uh, this is also called as a common bond or american bond is there running bond english bond so from our point of view english uh, bond and flemish bond uh, those are very important and from the examination point of view so if you see the english bond a single brick wall then one and half brick wall and double brick wall in case of english bond same thing is with the flemish bond so all these elevation how in which fashion the bricks are placed that you must know okay so uh, again i repeat that in the english bond a single brick wall one and a half brick wall and two brick wall 
that plan and elevation that you must able to draw because uh, engineer must know this right so again i will just read this all bonds garden wall bond flemish garden wall bond english garden wall bond flemish bond double flemish bond flemish diagonal bond red trap bond single basket view bond double basket view bond herring bone bond okay delia rabia bond uh, pin wheel bond scottish bond heading bond facing bond tracking bond dutch bond jig jag bond silver locks bond cross bond stack bond soldier bond header bond bull header bond chain bond mount bond okay so many types are there okay but uh, at least we must know the important that header bond stretcher bond okay garden bond garden wall bond herring bone bond then this english and flemish bond okay so friends uh, thank you very much for uh, joining this session so a very important thing that when you are dealing with the this english bond and the flemish bond you are supposed to draw the course wise for example if you if you are drawing the uh, sketch for the flemish bond so you should able to draw the plan for the uh, suppose uh, six courses are there so for 1 2 1 3 5 okay the plan will be different okay and for the even number 2 4 6 the plan will be different okay so accordingly you should able to draw the plan okay so thank you very much for joining this session